is it worth it to do CARTP first and then go to uh, tackle CARTE? The structure of the course this time uh, compared to CARTP was very straightforward. You have three packages. I took the one with two months. Hi everyone, welcome back to this new episode in which we're going to discuss the C-A-R-T-E certification, Certified Azure Red Team Expert that I've been able to secure this month. So basically, to give you a context, um, I purchased, I had the uh, objective of passing three certifications this year and um, C-A-R-T-P and C-A-R-T-E were the first two ones. I wanted to share with you my experience with the certification for those who are interested in uh, following the same path. Um, and let me tell you, TLDR, if you want to skip this video, it's worth it. Um, now, if you want a detail, stick with me. So basically, you have three packages. I took the one with two months. There is a package with one month and with three months. I believe that two months are more than enough. You don't need more than two months, uh, even if you have uh, work to do in parallel. I had several things going around and I was able to secure, uh, to, to complete the uh, content and the lab without any issues. Now, the approach that I did or the lab was the same as the uh, CARTP in the sense that I didn't go through the videos. They took me a lot of time and um, I just didn't have that time, that much time for me. So what I did was uh, focus on the lab manual and try to reproduce the um, learning objectives based on the uh, things that I learned from the course lab, uh, the course slides, which explained pretty much what the videos were talking about. Obviously, there were some uh, instances where I needed to go to the videos to learn something in uh, more in depth, in situations where I didn't fully understand what's going on on the lab, why did the command work and what, the, what it does, etc. Um, meanwhile, I was taking my notes so that I can document the process. The structure of the course this time uh, compared to CARTP was very straightforward. It was intuitive. It was um, centered around kill chains. We had the first kill chain that contained several attack, several vulnerabilities that we, are, we were able to attack and obtain a flag and then we moved to uh, kill chain 2 which did the same but with different at a different attack path and uh, that was very intuitive for me and it allowed me to take structured notes kudos for the uh, designers of the lab and the course after that when I finished the uh, lab I made sure that all my notes are up to date and try to understand how to exploit the vulnerabilities. I compiled all the tools that I needed uh, for the exam in and downloaded them. Obviously, Altered Security provides you with a archive that, allow, that contains all the tools. But, uh, so I took that, I downloaded it, but I also had my own version of the package that contains all the tools that I used. And from there, what I did was just uh, copy the tools that I needed the day of the, the exam based on the situation. Because the exam uh, VM doesn't come with any tools whatsoever. It doesn't even come with the Azure graph module pre-installed or the Azure PowerShell. It's empty VM. And I believe that you could you could even access the, um, you could even pwn the lab, the exam lab, without gaining access to the exam user. 
Uh, I say that because some resources, or at least the ones that I tested, were accessible from the internet. So you just, as long as you have internet connection uh, and everything is set up on your own laptop or computer, then I would say you wouldn't even need the access to the exam VM. But it's good to have uh, the attack coming from the exam VM. So uh, once I got everything sorted out, sort of, at a personal level, I uh, was clear with my family that I wanted to pass the exam on that day. It was a Saturday again. It's like, uh, it was like the CARTB exam. Uh, I started around 6 and 30 a.m. And once again, from the dashboard, the new dashboard that Altered Security uh, developed allowed us to uh, spin up the exam lab on demand, which was great. And from there, it just took off. The exam was harder than the CARTP. And um, around midnight on that day, I was able to secure the last flag. I mean, the only flag, the final flag. And it was a, a fun project. It was a fun um, exam compared to CARTP. It was harder, for sure, but it was fun. That's all I can say for now. Meanwhile, I was uh, always taking screenshots and doing some minimal paragraphs to describe the attacks that I I was doing during the exam and uh, it took me around uh, one hour to compile the to to generate the last the official the release version of my report this time uh, compared to CA RTP we were required to include mitigations based on what we've learned in the course. So um, in the CARTP uh, notes, exam notes, it's uh, mentioned that providing the mitigations would increase your chances of uh, your report being uh, accepted. However, in the CARTE, you are required to include the mitigation section. And after about five days, I received a confirmation saying that I was certified CARTE. Is it worth it to do CARTP first and then go to uh, tackle CARTE? The uh, short answer is that you need to do both. Why? And that's the long answer. Um, there are attacks that are discussed during the first certification that are not in the second and vice versa. So by doing both, you are exposed to more vulnerabilities, you uh, exploit more vulnerabilities. Second thing is that the first uh, certification goes deeply into all the enumeration uh, phase that are that can be done with the Azure PowerShell, Azure uh, Microsoft Graph module, and other tools. Um, in the CARTE, it dives more into the uh, exploitation phase and explores many ways to do that. So it's kind of thin on the uh, enumeration part, at least from with the goal of getting an initial access. All right, I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and see you in the next video. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.